The famous links of Royal Lytham and St Anne's have been hosting open championships since the great American amateur Bobby Jones crossed the Atlantic in 1926 to become the first man to win the US and British Open titles in a calendar year. Almost a century later, a team of disabled American servicemen arrived in Lancashire to take on their British counterparts in the second edition of the Simpson Cup played at Lytham. The brainchild of Nick Faldo's former manager John Simpson, the Ryder Cup style format was born out of the On Course Foundation, a charity created to give new direction to servicemen and women injured in the line of duty. I was asked to give a talk uh, to some of the disabled uh, chaps at uh, Headley Court. And being disabled myself and having played golf since uh, I came out of hospital and knowing that's the only game you can play on a level playing field if you are disabled, um, I sort of had the idea there and then it'd be a great idea if we could create a charity to teach these guys golf and uh, hopefully on a long-term basis and then hopefully get them jobs within the golf and related industries. When I first heard about it, you know, my, 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 my you know, sort of eyes lit up and I thought, hold on a minute, this is doable, where a lot of things at that point in my life were not doable. Uh, and then to actually get an official handicap and, and come and represent uh, Great British Injured Servicemen at an event like this, um, it's just, just, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't have ever imagined doing it when I was first injured. That's an attitude shared by all the competitors taking part in the Simpson Cup. To American captain Chris Bowers, the foundation is about much more than sport. I think we all act kind of as mentors to each other. Uh, the camaraderie that we share just from our experiences in war, uh, it, it really helps us recover by being with each other. And I, I really think that's where this niche of this organization is, is getting guys together to help guys get through things that they're struggling with in life. It's unbelievable to see how the event's grown. Um, y you know, we, we knew the first year that um, it was quite a new idea and, and we wasn't sure what to expect, but to have been involved and see how professional the tournament was run uh, and then to come back in, in the second year and to see that it's grown and we've got uh, people from the, from the club coming to support us and look, people from the local community, so it's unbelievable. With Team GB winning 11.5 to 6.5 in the inaugural event at TPC Sawgrass last year, the Americans arrived determined to make amends. After playing a supporting role last year, 2013 Captain Ian Bishop was the man charged with keeping the cup in British hands. I haven't actually had to say too much to lads this year because everybody's massed up for it. I mean, the Americans, yes, we did win and we won well last year, but so we knew the Americans would be coming back over here uh, and they, you can see they're really, really up for it. They brought a really strong team over. So none of the lads really need anything said to them because they all, it, it, were doing it for a good bit of national pride. So nothing more needs to be said on that matter. I was the US team captain last year at TPC Sawgrass. Um, unfortunately, we had some guys that did not play too well. It hurt a lot to lose the cup on our home soil for the inaugural cup but I think we're going to make amends and uh, return the favour to the British side this year. Last year, we, yeah, without, without sounding too cocky, we, we, we gave them a good thumping and, and, and I think we, uh, we poked the hornet's nest a little bit, so they've come back with a vengeance. We got beat last year and we're not getting beat this year. With the contest finally poised at three all after the first day's four balls, the match remained in the balance during the early stages of the 12 singles matches on day two. But it was Team GB who began to get the upper hand, and it eventually fell to Paul Swain, the man who sank last year's winning putt, to be the hero once more. For me, this has been the, the biggest change since injury. So, you know, like I say, I wasn't, I'd lost a lot of confidence because of what happened, and I wasn't really socialising. And golf, the On Course Foundation, and uh, you know, it's, it's brought everything back. So really, I put every, everything down to the fact that I'm back into golf now, playing golf and socialising again. So yeah, all, all due to this. And the winners of the 2013 Simpson Cup matches, Team GB. The camaraderie which comes out of this, as one of the guys pointed out, you know, they've fought together, they've died together, they've been injured together but they don't see much of each other
from there on in. So to bring them back under the umbrella of golf, <laughs> and, and as you can see, the friends and the fun they have uh, is for life. Hey! Hey! Oh,